Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are creating pixel art. Okay. Uh, even if you don't have any graphic skills, uh, you will be able to create your own uh, pixelated art. And if you do have um, graphic skills, um, well, it's going to look even better. Alright, so let's uh, get started. And uh, to create our pixel art, we are going to use this image here. Alright, I found this on the internet. Alright, and I believe this is the person who took the uh, picture. Uh, CarryComTom.com. Alright. Um, yeah, so we are going to use these color values to create our pixel art. Now, you don't have to use Photoshop for this. You could use a GIMP or any other free software. Or including Microsoft Paint. Alright, so let's uh, begin the process by setting up our canvas size. And this will be 100 by 56 uh, pixels not very big okay and um yeah so let's uh, get started going to uh begin by selecting uh, the lightest color on the picture and i'm uh, going to use this as a background I'm going to come down a little lower to select a um a darker value Okay, I'm going to press G to uh, fill this color. I again to select my uh, color picker. And I'm going to do the same thing. I don't want to go too low because um, I want to be able to have these mountains. Press G. And uh, I'm going to um, select another darker orange. See the preview here. Now the mountain, which uh, goes somewhere around here. Now you don't have to actually follow the picture, uh, but I'm doing it just because. Okay, I'm going to. Now this is some sort of lake. Or the ocean, I'm not entirely sure. Let me uh, look at the picture. And uh, it is some sort of lake. Go to grab this uh, value here. And uh, we are going to paint um, this. You can see that. It's kind of working already. Just B for brush. Do some uh, uh, I guess it's like a bay, a monkey island sort of thing. I'm going to uh, select a um, darker. Um, Colors for the front crown. Let's fill these colors. And uh, there is a little bit of orange here. Uh, I guess that must be from the reflection of the sun. So I'm going to grab some of this. And uh, I am going to paste some of it here, well not paste it, but draw it. You can see there on, on the preview that um, I'm overdoing it. I'm going to tone it down a little bit. Maybe I need a um, softer orange or purple let me erase some of this as this is all trial and error sometimes uh, and uh, yeah it looks like if I have
That looks a little better. Okay. Um, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to grab this dark color and make it even darker. And uh, I'm going to create some sort of infrastructure. Go to a whole shift while I'm painting. I mean, clicking. And this will be some shadow tower or something. Let me zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to use red for this. And uh, see if we can uh, place someone here. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of pixels to work with. Um, but I'm going to attempt to create a person or something, someone. He's, he's got a backpack and he's just standing there. Maybe I can, uh, let me see if I can give him a little bit more detail. Okay. That's his backpack. And um, maybe he has a dog. Yeah. He's out doing something with his dog. Sorry dog, you are going to have to be super pixelated. Alright. And uh, maybe his nose is a little too big. Let's look at this from far away. And that doesn't look too bad. Let me draw another of these towers on the side. Okay. And uh, you're wondering how this guy got up there. Okay, so let's uh, create some sort, of, some sort of ladder. Maybe that's a little too, too big. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Push B. And I'm going to make a couple of them uh, broken. Okay. It's never a good idea to create a perfect uh, things because in real life things are not always perfect. Including Sparkman. Okay, so. You see, that looks uh, not too bad. All right, so here is our picture and it doesn't look too bad, all right, but I feel like it's missing something. So let's analyze this picture here. Okay, so there's the end. The ladder there and here's some sort of tower. Um, he's just looking at the mountains for no reason. And um, he's traveling with a dog, so we are going to give him a sword because anyone who travels with a dog always uh, needs a sword or something that is the sword uh, and he's just kind of like looking at the mountains there uh, for no reason and we have to give him a reason so let's uh, create some sort of like uh, evil tower right where this crazy scientist is uh, he's doing bad things and he has to like stop them or something well, if there were like many crazy scientists. But let's say for the sake of this example that there is only one. Uh, he's got these uh, crazy towers here where he's uh, pretty, pretty much uh, being bad. Okay, and um, this being the hero of the game, he has to like them or something okay so before I make this video too long I'm going to uh, make a new layer and uh, 
let's create some sort of a broken building in the back all right that doesn't seem to be um, a building in good shape same as this one here in the front uh, I'm going to create some sort of broken tank or or something all right and uh, maybe some broken things on twisted metal or rocks metal I guess a couple of more towers and that is not too bad maybe I can uh, Oops. Break some of these uh, Okay, that one is just not Alright, so that seems a bit better. Uh if you break a few pieces. Alright, so here is our final picture and um if you zoom in to actual pixel size, you notice that it's super small and you cannot possibly use that because it's so small. Let's uh, make this uh, bigger and I'm going to uh, select uh, constraint proportions. I'm going to switch this to 720 by 403 and uh, I'm going to use a nearest neighbor. Okay. So uh, this will preserve the uh, pixelation, okay? And that's just, this is what it looks like. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs>